Next week, Rob Groves will be tackling a marathon in Romania. The 62-year-old from Crawley says he's never happier than when he's hand cycling. When I'm in my bike, I have everything given back to me. I have 100% control of where I want to go, where I want to turn and what I want to do. And it is my control. It gives me back that freedom. Rob appeared on the ITV programme Surprise Surprise, where they celebrated the charity work of the former bodybuilder. But he told me it's not been an easy journey. After a slip disc severed his spine and left him paralysed from the waist down when he was 50. When this happened to me, my whole world simply collapsed. I went through three years of not leaving the home, refusal to be in a wheelchair. If my wife bought it to me, I would throw it against the wall. But Rob turned his life around, his bike allowing him to become the first disabled person to cycle around the coast of England, or two and a half thousand miles of it, while raising money and awareness about the pollution of our oceans. He says it was a 12-year-old girl with cerebral palsy who helped him back on track during a fundraising day in Crawley. She actually turned around to me and says, you know what, you don't know how lucky you are. You've, you've walked, you've played football, you've ran, you've done all those things. I never have and I never will. And I think when a 12-year-old child turns around and says that, and you think, suddenly my disability then becomes nothing. I've been lucky. So really that, to me, was most probably the changing point in my life to change and make sure what I do inspire those children never to give up on the hope. Rob's charity is called Quest for Hope. They're off to Romania next week, having teamed up with Paws to Rescue, inspired by that charity's founder, Alison Stanbridge. She's had, had some horrendous times over there. She's had guns put to her head. She's been chased with machetes. She's been around, but she stood strong. And Alison is very much like me. Um, never give up. And Rob's inspirational crusade will continue with further 1,000 mile treks here and in America over the next couple of years.